Hey guys, this is Computer Techie, and today I'm going to show you how to make a custom album artwork like this for any song in iTunes. So first what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up GIMP, and you want to make sure that you have this Layers window right here. Um, if you don't have it, uh, let me close out of that, click Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and click Layers. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this over here. Now you want to click File over here, and select New. Make sure that your dimensions are 200 by 200, width 200, height 200. Make sure it's in pixels and click OK. And let me change the color of this real quick. Uh, um, hold on a second. Uh, never mind. So first you want to make sure um, that this lower box right here, uh, well you want to make sure that's black and you want to make sure this lower box is a gray. And okay, and now you want to click on your blend tool over here and draw a straight line from the bottom of your square to the top and it should blend your gray on top and your black on the bottom. Now you want to go ahead and click on this A right here, this is your text tool, and draw a square on top of your artwork. And I'm going to type in crying and let me click off of that real quick. And you can change the font. Mine's called Abode. Uh, you can change the color right here and change the size. Um, now I'm going to click on my Move tool so I can move the word wherever I want to put it. And I think I'll just stick it right here. Now you want to go ahead and right click on your layer that says Crying and click Merge Down. And you can undo this if you want to edit the text a little bit more by clicking Edit, Undo, Merge Down. So now your uh, text layer is separate. And I'm going to merge that down again. Now you want to go ahead and click on your text tool again. It's uh, the A right here. And draw another square beneath the word crying. And I'm going to type in soul. And let me click off of that real quick. Now I'm going to change my color to white right here. Okay, um, once again you can go ahead and change uh, where you want to put it by clicking on the move tool and move it wherever you want. I'm going to stick it beneath the word crying kind of like in the center. And you can go ahead and merge down. I'm, I'm not going to do that. So now I'm going to click file, uh, save as. And um, you can go ahead and name it whatever you want, but you also want to put .jpg and click Save. Um, I'm going to save it into Documents. Um, click Export right here. And drag your quality all the way to 100. OK, Save. So now it's saved your picture into Documents or wherever you put it. Let me close that real quick. And let me go into Documents and show you how it looks in the end. Um, right here. Okay, so this is your end result. Um, to put it into your iTunes album cover, you're going to go ahead and find your song right here in iTunes. Right-click on it and click uh, Get Info. So it has a bunch of options with Get Info. You can click Info or Video. Um, there's a bunch of options, but you want to go over here and click Artwork, and click Add. Now I'm going to go into uh, Documents, because that's where I saved my picture. And click CS, and Open. So it, they may look totally identical, but one of them is totally different. So you go ahead and click on it, and click OK. But if you want to change it back, you can go ahead and right-click on it, click Get Info, Artwork, select your original picture, uh, delete the uh, the one you just uploaded, and go ahead and make it look like that. Now, um, you can also do this with a regular song, too. Um, let me find a good one right here. Uh, um, right here. Okay, so you can change the album cover as well by clicking Get Info, Artwork, Add, find your picture, yes, click open, and select it, and then, oh, uh, whoops, or 
select that and then click OK and it's changed your word uh, but to change it back to its original uh, go ahead and right click on it get info artwork um, oh whoops right click on it get info artwork select your crying soul picture click delete and then click OK and it should change your picture back um, I hope you guys like this tutorial it was pretty interesting whenever I first learned how to do it I hope you think it's interesting too Thanks.